Okay, so, uh, how do I explain this one? Basically, um, watching, uh, Dark-Minded Siths, like Banjo-Tooie LP, and then we actually went and found Broken Champions blind LPs of the Banjo games and watched those. And so I kind of got into a rare mood, and then I'm thinking I could maybe... I, I, I kind of felt like playing DK64, even though I hate that game. That is something that I said that I'd probably LP at some point, just to bitch about it, basically. Then I re-remembered that this existed, and I've never played it, and I've barely seen anything of it. Um, I did watch, like, the first couple parts of an LP and then stopped, uh, because I pretty much decided, like, I didn't want to spoil it in case I ever did. Why is Banjo's head up there? Um, what the hell, but, insert rumble pack R. So yeah, this is, a uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, and I figure I will try this out. See if there's any options, there are cheats apparently in this game, and sound effects, and... <laughs> yeah, I don't know any cheats anyway, so... There is Greg the Grim Reaper, I do know that that character exists. Why are game two and three to the left of game... I don't know. Whatever. Let's just start. It's actually been a while since I've watched this, so I don't really remember the intro, like, at all. Nintendo surprisingly presents... a game that you would not expect them to endorse. Okay, thank you. Again, thank you. Don't really know what to say at this point. <laughs> Guess that's one way to start a game. Okay. Okay. Camera, back up a little bit. Now, I do know a few things about the plot of this game. I'm thinking the crown there might not have a texture loaded or something. I haven't, like, checked this ROM to see how good it is. There's a piece of cheese. Don't know what the hell that thing on the right is supposed to be. Oh yeah, one thing I do have to mention, and yes, I am going to talk over the cutscene, I don't care, because I'm like the only person who has not played this game apparently. TM. But, um, what was I gonna, oh yeah, I, before watching the videos of this, I never knew that this game, like, had voice acting. And I sound probably really stupid saying that, but I just really never knew that. I mean, I, I know about, like, the great Mighty Pooh singing and stuff, but that was really strange. Oh, yeah, just keep doing that. Answer your damn phone. Ugh. I already hate you. Oh, hey there, Brian Barry. This okay, no. I do like that there are speech balloons so that I can talk over the cutscene and it doesn't matter so much. There's just a sticker that says sex. Taxi sex. What are you doing? And why does she look like Lola? And why is that phone, like, made out of pepper shakers? I'm just going to question everything in this game. 
Hopefully this whole beginning of this game isn't going to be cutscenes. I don't think this music really fits those instruments. I don't... Is that a clarinet? What is that song? Was that the rhyme glitching? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, is that clarinet music or is that something else? I can't tell what that's supposed to be. Congratulations. So why is there what, a thing in a monk's outfit carrying a gigantic stone slab out here? And the Cock and Plucker is a great name for a bar. And why is there no background? Again, not sure if that's a ROM problem or not. Alright, if this is going to be anything like Banjo-Tooie, then it will be at least 17 more days before we get to actual gameplay. Yes. I know I'm not being very interesting right now. I, I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on. Oh, is this the stupid panther guy? It wasn't... Yeah. God damn it. I wasn't sure if this was at the very beginning or if it took a little bit longer to get to this part. Oh, this guy is so stupid. Can I, like, skip this part? I really don't want to watch this. It's really dumb. <laughs> that face. He drank like two-thirds of that in one set. And yeah, I think if I am to understand this correctly, this is the main like problem of the game is that like the table is missing a leg and everybody is too stupid to figure out what the problem is and yeah okay so it, maybe that's the end of that hopefully okay can we get to like the redneck scarecrow guy or whoever it was um graphics Maybe it's because he's drunk and blacking out? I don't know. Da 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 donk. Okay, cool, gameplay. And we have a B button, which I don't think I can use yet. Okay, yeah. Oh, graphics seem pretty nice. I don't know. Just want to get non-drunk so that I can go it faster than whatever whatever the hell this speed, whatever we want to call this. Okay, Redneck Scarecrow, gonna help me out? Okay, maybe he's not a redneck. Maybe he's just some creepy, raspy-sounding guy. I forgot everybody has British accents. I can't tell so far if I would have liked this game when I was younger or not. I mean, obviously, it's incredibly inappropriate for kids, but that didn't stop me from watching, like, the South Park movie and stuff, so...
I, I really do want to get to something in this video, though. Okay, button. The keys. I think this guy has a few problems. I think maybe he's the drunk one. And we have no texture on the bottle. Okay, so yeah, he is drunk. Good to know. Weird spacing. Surprised they didn't just use the actual word on that sign. the hell? What did that have to do with anything? Okay, can we... Cabbage. Must get the cabbage. No, I won't actually get the cabbage. Can I pee? I think you can pee in this game. I don't know how, though. Come on, I want to pee. That's like my one goal right now. Okay, I can't figure it out. Whatever. I thought you could pee when you were drunk. Well, apparently he just peed in that glass. And what the hell did you just drink to, like, cure that? Like that can of helium, because you really needed that. Yes? Yes? What? Oh, god damn it. Okay. I'm really not the person who, like, needs to skip every single cutscene in games, and I do hate it when people do that the first time through, but for the sake of the LP, like, I really wanted to just kind of get it started. So. And I, I, like, have seen this stuff at the beginning, so. Here we have money that I can't get, at least that I don't know how to get, and really weird, like, dripping physics there. Wasn't this game, what was this game, like, 2001? Wasn't it, like, after the GameCube was released, or, like, a couple months before? So, it, like, really did try to push the system, and it, with the voice clips, I think it probably did. And the dripping stuff is pretty cool, so... What's with the... Why is the more in, like... Career? Hold the giant rectangle button down, and I should crouch. Oh, it just... Okay, never mind. I thought the more was part of his sentence. I'm stupid. Okay, can I... Again... Hover. No, I'm not going to continue to make a fun of the accent in this entire thing. Alright, so, can we do the helicopter tail thing? Okay, good. And we get over here. And I don't know what's down there, but I don't really want to find out yet. So I'm going to stay up here. Uh, okay, or I could just fall. And die. Wait, I didn't die? Okay. Is this where the waterfall was? No, wait, what? What? What the fuck? That makes no sense. Oh my god, is this game seriously going to be like Victip's Adventure? Like, that, that, like, that's one of my main complaints with my game, is that there's warps that make no sense. 
rare games occasionally do that, but not really that often. Come on, I, I expected better of you. Okay, can we go in the door? No, we cannot. Can we just dance with the funky mushroom? Yes, we can. Okay, I'll just do this for the rest of the game. No. All right. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to explain my extremely piss poor reasoning for why I never really played this game. Um, back in like 2006, 2000. No, I think it was like 2007. Um, I decided to. Um, I think I've shared this story before, but I, I decided to, like, try out Metal Gear Solid, the original one for the PS1. So I had to, like, f find a ROM for it and everything, which was m way harder than I thought it needed to be. Um, because, like, I always have trouble finding PS1 games on the, online. But, um, I found it, and I, like, watched all the backstory videos, I did all the training missions and everything, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm like, prepared for this game now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally play this. I got stuck about five seconds into the freaking game. Like, I got into the outdoor area with the searchlights and stuff, and I didn't know what to do. And I got pissed off, and I'm like, okay, never playing this again. And my new reasoning for this is because from now on I will refuse to play M-rated games. Because that will justify me never trying MGS again. And so, that is my main reason why I have not played Conquer. Um, because I needed to, like, cover up my terrible... I, I did not pay attention to that cutscene at all, but... I'm going to go in the door and assume that something in there is what I need. This game seems very... ...quiet. I guess it's just this one area, I don't know. Random green stripe on the left side of the screen. Why is there weird, like, colorful things in the corners? I don't know what that's all about. And we have a key. Okay, can we kill- can we- Okay. Skip. I can read this about 25 times faster than you can say it. It does an extremely shitty little punch. Do I get a better move now? Okay, good. So, kill you. Kill you. Come on. Can you not be a douche? Just get over here. Oh, come on, I totally hit that thing. I'm totally hitting it. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. And then I unlock the door that I just came through, and that does what now? I guess now I have the... frying pan power, so... okay. I won't question it. Except I totally will. That freaking crow is in, like, every single N64 game. That eagle, however, was not. Well, it might be, but I don't know. Okay, so I whack you. What is that face? And he dies a Disney death. Oh, come on, he can just go down the tunnel down there and then end up back up here again. And I guess that was not good. Can we glitch into the thing? Come on, glitch into the thing. Okay. Anyway, um... Uh, ah, no. God damn it. Not sure how long I really want to do the segments of this. I, like, would like to make a fair amount of progress, but for the first video with the cutscenes and everything, I guess this is reasonable. Um, and then there's the whole problem with, like, me recording N64 games and it taking about nine days to render like it was doing with uh, Mario 74. So, yeah. 
I guess I will uh, see what the contact sensitive button over there does, and then if it opens a new area or whatever, then I will just kind of stop there. Pull this thing again for no real reason. Okay, now. I like the little dancing sunflower. And yes, I know that there is a sunflower with very large breasts in this game. I do know things about it, I just haven't seen most of it. Sure, we'll go with that one. Yep, that was the end of the game, everybody. Okay, go in here, go to sleep, and then that's it. So yeah, um, I don't want to trigger a new cutscene or anything, so we'll just dance with the sunflowers. And that is it for now. So, see you next time for more Conquer, I guess. Yeah, don't know why I'm playing this.